Holy crap. I should have worn different glasses. The wind's making my eyes water, something fierce. Lady's taking it there. Didn't get a chance really to get out yesterday. The uh, wasn't that it was uh, cold or anything. I was uh, mainly because I was looking for. Um, Looking for Tammy's ID all yesterday. I finally found it. Her passport and her driver's license. So uh, on Tuesday, we're gonna go get her a new health card. And then uh, she's got a, uh, I've gotta schedule her a mammogram and a, <sighs> an ultrasound for her, uh, her leg. And uh, for those who don't know, my wife, who you see in, uh, in some of my videos, she's, uh, she has MS. And uh, she's recently, in the last year, really, really started to lose her, uh, her mobility. And uh, so I don't spend as much time out videoing per day. And uh, I try to get home to uh, spend time with her as much as I can. She has a, uh, a degenerative form of uh, MS and uh, She's not gonna get better. She's uh, she's just gonna get worse. So uh, my main goal is to make sure she's looked after and changed and bathed and dressed, and fed and entertained keep her in good spirits so the odd chance I get whether it's riding I'll give you guys an update on that in a, in a minute 
are uh, out grabbing a quick coffee for an hour. Uh, I do get a little bit of uh, time for myself and uh, that's when I usually am, am videoing. I'm going to show you the clouds that are coming over there. I don't know, it might miss us. I don't know though. I'm hoping it do. But at the very least I'll get a coffee. If you ever get a chance to, and you're uh, so inclined, uh, the art type, this is called Art as Hell Studios. It's uh, located at 179 East Main. Their email is uh, AIHSTUDIO S1179. So Air is Hell Studios 179. Art is Hell, sorry, at gmail.com. If you'd like to make an appointment, come down and check out their art. They've, uh, from what I've seen, they've got some pretty cool pieces. I'll, um, you guys can pause this and scan it. But uh, show them some support. If you're local and you care for art, by all means, please. All right, oh, we're here. I'll give you that update in a minute. I just wanna run in, get a coffee, and then I'll uh, come out a cigarette and spread the good news. Well, news. Hey guys. Good, how are you guys? It's chilly today. Hey Laura. Good, good. Coffee. Yeah, no, I the bike's down. I've got two, both of them are down. The first one, I ran into a pole and I sheared the brake cable and uh, controller off it on the left. And the second one, I went over a curb. I didn't know my tire was loose and it just knocked something askew. So now I'm getting a motor position sensor fault. Yeah, so both are down. But I'll be honest, it would be a bit too cold, yeah, to ride. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be freezing. Just walking down here, my eyes were watering like crazy because of the wind. I could, I kept, I looked like I was bawling while I was walking. That's what I hear. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I bought a bag of salt early. I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get the, get it, uh, uh, get it done, salted tonight. I think next time I'm gonna give you guys a thousand, see how long that lasts. <laughs> 500 lasted, what, a month? About a month? Yeah. I got into a little money uh, a couple months ago, so I gave them my prepaid 500 bucks, so that if I don't have money, I'm good, right? Like a pre-tab, but it lasted about a month, so I had about, maybe about two months, so about 250 coffees in about two months. That's a lot. Yeah, I do buy coffee for people too. I'm going to go have a quick smoke. Okay, so the news, well, that what you heard with the bike me telling them about the bike that's the news uh, the reason you haven't seen me riding around much is number one because uh, well it's been kind of cold lately it's starting to get a little cooler out nowadays and the second reason is because um, uh, the bikes of course are down both of them are down uh, it's not too bad though the one uh, damage isn't that much uh, it's just a motor sensor fault so I imagine it's just a matter of realigning the wheel and then uh, resetting the computer, which I think you can do right there. 
the second one is uh, uh, the second one is a little bit more uh, problematic. I tore the actual cable right out of the controller port and the part that went straight to the uh, computer, the controller box. So the second problem is the uh, brakes, brand new brake cable. I need a controller cable and I need an actual control. So the um, pedal assist controls up and down, the power button, the left brake handle, and uh, uh, besides that, the left brake handle, and oh, the lights, my lights control as well went off as well. So three different, three different things on the other bike. Crap, one of my pockets has a nasty old tear in it. So I'm either gonna have to A, sew it up, which I'm fully capable of, and I actually have the thread and the needles, <clears throat> or B, take it somewhere to get it done. Now the, the good thing if I actually take it in to get it done, um, I actually can get the zipper on it replaced. The zipper right now, it's a plastic doodad and it's just not working right now um the second one i should get will uh or the replacement's gonna be metal yeah i've got to uh i've got to get a hold of miles davis um, from affordableebikes.com. Uh, the main thing that's holding me back right now is just uh, saving the money to do this. So I'm figuring it'll cost about three, four hundred bucks uh, for the controller and the brake and the uh, power and the lights controller to get redone. And I think the uh, the motor sensor fault I think is probably a quick, easy fix. I'm hoping when he comes to pick up the one bike that he can actually just uh, um, that he can actually just uh, oh my coffee's ready I will be right back or I mean come with thank you hey, hey. Oh, I'm gonna stick around for a little while elixir of the gods I'm sure God drinks coffee you can't uh, you can't rule the world and not need a coffee <laughs> so I've been watching a lot of uh, King Cobra JFS uh, lately, and um, it's hilarious. His main problem is that he responds to the trolls, right? So anytime a troll makes a comment, or anytime a troll impersonates someone uh, that he thinks is someone else, and he responds, he just makes it worse, right? Um, the sad thing is, is he's got to learn to just flat out stop interacting with them and stop talking with them when he has uh, gotten a hey, gotten a response, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is my friend, Dwayne. He's a nice guy. See you later, bud. He's my friend. You coming by tomorrow? Yes, I am. Awesome. To. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll try to. Watch the ice. Are oh, you okay over there? Okay. 
There goes Dave. Good guy. <coughs> yeah, it's cooled off out there for sure. Yeah, the wind is well up. Yeah, that's that's snow coming. That's oh, snow coming. Wow. Yeah, I'll lay some salt out when I get home. I, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. So I uh, bought a couple bags. Put them away. Yeah, and put them away. I haven't needed them, but now's our, now's our time to shine. The Alaskan. <clears throat> Red Rock Salt. Huge just a minute, huh? Yeah, I know that, but I don't have much choice. It's whatever's at, you know, 7-Eleven. I don't got the money or time to go hunting down green salt. <laughs> Plus, I mean, if it's it's just a, the sidewalk, right? Not the driveway. Yeah, it'll take much to see. Yeah. Where do you go for parts for the bike? Uh, for the first time, well, I'd like to continue by maintenance with the guy, right? Even though he's up in, he's close to Hamilton, right? But I don't mind paying for him to come down, right? In this particular case, uh, the second, the, the controller problem, the motor sensor position fault, I think that's something that when he comes to pick up the other one, the other bike, he can fix on the spot. So I'm hoping that... But right now I've got, um, I still owe him for two spare tires he brought me. And I, I don't think I covered that in my bill that I paid for the two bikes. I think he just gave them to me thinking I was going to pay him later. And I haven't. So I've got to, uh, I want to come up with some money first. So. Just waiting. Just a waiting game right now. Yeah. If I could even do like 300 at the end of this month and then 300 at the when it drops the other bike off, that'll I'll be happy. So that'll pay him 200 to come pick up the one bike and 100 bucks to do that. Reset the motor sensor fault. Has he got a big store? Uh, you know what? I don't think so. I think what he's got is probably a, a pretty sizable garage, oh. like a, a shop, a home shop style garage. And uh, and I think that's probably how he does it. There's nobody around here to fix the Uh Well, part of the I'm sure there is, but part of the point is that I want to maintain a bit of loyalty with him, um, as well as do a little promotion for him on my channel. Which you know I'm growing, so it'll the more word that I can get out about his bikes, and he'll get more orders, and he'll be constantly busy, right? Yeah. Uh, he's got a pretty uh, already established business. It's. Um, www.affordableebikes.com affordableebikes.com and uh, I visited it. his main business seems to be he'll motorize your bike so you bring a bike into him you bring a bike. yeah just anyone will put a bike and he'll turn it he'll attach controls to it and a battery and uh, one of the wheels will be a motor wheel yeah so that seems to be his main uh, business uh, he does sell these ones and some a couple of other ones, but uh, to me it seems that those are rather more high-end items that the majority, I imagine 80% of his business is people bringing him their bikes and, and um, you know, that's what I think. I could be completely wrong. His main business might be selling these things, right? Yeah. He's, he's going through one or two a week for all I know, but... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm coming into some money this summer, and I'm hoping to buy 10 off them. So I'll have a fleet of them around town. So rent them out. No, I'll rent them out. I'll rent them out. Yeah. So uh, 600 for the summer. So you get, it's like 200 bucks a month, right? Which is pretty cheap. Yeah. You rent that for 200 bucks a month for the summer. Or you can rent it for $1,000 for the year. So if we, like, for example, this year, where you have a mild spring and a mild uh, fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, for, so on a year like this, where we had a, a mild spring and a mild fall, you get two extra, almost three extra months riding, yeah. right? So for, for a thousand bucks, it's worth it, right? Plus, once you've rented it for two or three years, well, we'll I'll figure out how it works, but 
after the fourth rental, it's yours, right? You've paid for it. So basically you're renting it to own as well, yeah. right? So at the end of say a four year rental contract, the bike's yours. What about the repairs while you're renting? That's why I want to maintain this loyalty with this guy with my two. So once I do get the 10, he'll be in charge of maintaining the fleet of mine, right? And uh, I'm, I'm gonna be smart about it, right? So I'll, I'll at any given time rent nine out and then I'll have one as a spare. So if anyone say damages their bike, Can right? Get a store, rent a store too? No, I've luckily I know enough people with secure storage that I can either A, store at friends place, bikes at friends places. Um, when they're not being rented, of course my friends can use them. It's good advertising for me, right? All the bikes will have my, my logo and name on them. Um, wow. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm, and uh, hopefully by the end of next year, the next, the year after that, so two years from now, I'll add another 10. So I'll have 20 bikes that I'll be good. renting out to the whole Niagara region, right? Just because it's not limited to Welland. You can come from St. Catharines, come rent a bike for the summer, take it back there, ride it around St. Catharines. Don't require insurance yet. Probably. Uh, well, I'll, get, I'll have it insured in the sense that if someone fucks off with one of them or it gets stolen, I'm not out of pocket, right? So I'll have it either insured like that, yeah. Uh, as for just riding on the road insurance, it doesn't need it because it's a pedal bike, right? Yeah, the pedals on, I guess. Yeah, well, no, the pedals are what gives that bike the immense range it has. Um, Remember I told you it's got pedal assist? You, yeah. you understand what pedal assist is, right? It, uh, as you pedal, the motor kicks in. So you're not pedaling as hard, but you're going just as fast as if you were, ah, right? So if you take that bike, and I personally, I, I'm all throttle. I don't, you, ne you never see me pedaling, right? Um, just using all throttle, I maybe have half that, maybe 80, 80 kilometers range. With the pedals, if I'm using pedals all the time and using the motor and, and whatnot, 200 kilometers easy, wow. yeah, between charges. So that's if you're just good. using it for puttering around town, visiting good. friends, mm -hmm. then just you can go all throttle. Yeah. If you're planning on going, say, to St. Catharines, screwing around all day there and coming back, you probably want to be pedaling, right? It does go. I went out to St. Catharines and back, and it only, when I got back, uh, I screwed around for a half hour in town and then my bar went down one, just one. Yeah, right. So all the way out there and back, 40, 43 kilometers and then, then it just went down one bar. So there's definitely enough juice in it. You could go from here to Niagara Falls, spend the day there, screw around there all day and still have juice to get back, right? Yeah. Uh, that's good additions. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's actually nearer to Niagara Falls than it is to St. Catharines. It's only 16 kilometers there from St. There for this Niagara Falls, and there it's 23. So it's well, actually yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I might see if I can borrow a thousand off my landlord, because he knows I got money coming. So I might see if I can do that, just to even get one of my bikes on the road while the other's getting fixed. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fortunate where, um, whereas I, I not only do I have friends that I can store stuff, I actually know the owner of the mill, the old cotton mill on Hagar. That that's a storage space. Yeah, so I can actually store it in. There's a gym in there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There's lots of businesses, but I can store uh, a fleet of twenty in there, and no problem. Lots of room. If I only, um, this summer, if I only get a certain amount, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start this business. Uh, if I have enough, I'm gonna buy a house for me and Tammy. Just a little wartime house, okay. but at least we'll have our own house, right? Yeah, rented. Instead of rent renting right cheap. now? Yeah. Rent is not cheap. Yeah. And even if I can put, you know, $200,000 down on a house and have a $100,000 mortgage, that's still pretty decent. I can, you know, that's gonna be lower payments than rent, right? Every month my mortgage payment's only gonna be two, three hundred bucks, whereas. At least it's yours. 
Yeah, where is that? Yeah, right? If I miss a rent payment, I'm not getting kicked out. <laughs> My YouTube channel is really growing too. So, uh, Social Blade, it's a, a projection site. They project how you're doing, and, and based on how your past is, they can tell you how you're going to be doing in the future. Um, and, and it's just showing nothing but growth. So, I'm really excited about that. It's projecting that within uh, five years, I'll have 20,000 subs. Yeah. And that's the point where you start actually making a little bit of money every month. Right? Not a lot, you know, four, five, six, seven hundred bucks, but it's still every month money. Right? They project that five, four years, four, five years. It doesn't mean that I can't go faster, right? So I might even get that, get there before that. But just got to keep trying, keep putting out videos and interesting stuff, showing people my life. You're not in the construction business anymore? Not anymore, no. I'm just full-time caregiver for my wife, right? Because she's sick. I love her so much. I, I feel so bad for her. She has such a good spirit. Yeah, she has such a good spirit, though. Like, she's not... I mean, she doesn't complain. She doesn't... She, she feels bad that she's putting me out, right? And I'm telling her, don't feel like that. Don't worry. You never know, eh? Poor girl, they make her go off the property now. Who's that? The, I can't remember her name. She does the, the bus depot. She used to be able to just sit around the corner by the canoe there. But uh, since Niagara Regional took over, they they rule with an iron fist. So they, she can't even go to the sidewalk at the edge. She has to go across the street. How tyrannical is that, eh? Just smoke. Yeah. Smoke. How crazy is that, eh? It's tyrannical, it's just bureaucratic, you know. We need to have rules, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm, uh, I'm hopefully gonna have a little bit of money too this month, uh, this summer that uh, I can actually hire a lawyer and, and sue the city. Yeah. That's the only thing that's been stopping me from taking legal action against City Hall is that I don't have money to pay for it, right? But uh, I'm gonna have enough that I can get the ball rolling and uh, at least shop around, show a couple of lawyers my my YouTube channel and how it went and how everything is, and hopefully I can get uh, get something done. Let's hope he doesn't come. He's walking in the street. Yeah, that's got to be him. Uh-oh, he's coming over. Is that a hard life, John Gravinsky? Granted, I mean, you know, a lot of it he's brought on himself, but it's got to be tough being mentally oh, yeah. off and not quite, yeah, of not quite understanding how the world works and That's a lot of confusion all the time. It's not their fault. Yeah. Where do you get those investors? These? Uh, the place I go to is called Niagara Quartermaster. They're out in St. Catharines. Um, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've got about five of them, uh, six vests. Uh, three of them are actual body armor, and then two are just for... I can switch the plates around if I ever need to, right? But I was telling my audience the other day, um, they're, uh, they're mainly a, just a prop. Right, they're just a prop for my my channel. That's all. Like, uh, uh, you you know Twitch, right? Twitch, Twitter, or Twitch, Twitch. Yeah, it's a social media platform, and there's a guy on there called Doctor Disrespect. He does a lot of gaming videos, but his 
brand is the best too. He's got this bright red one that looks like this, but. They were stop a bullet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And knives, just to stop a knife too, yeah. 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 I, I don't wear it because I'm worried about getting shot or stabbed. I just, like I say, it's just a, a brand, my brand for my channel, right? And the added bonus is I can carry my camera on my vest and it's a stable platform. So I always have my hands for you when I'm filming. A lot of vloggers I see, vloggers, um, they'll do their video logs uh, with one hand or they'll have their selfie stick, holding their selfie stick with their camera. So the camera and everything they do, they're only doing it one handed because their goal is holding a camera. I, I couldn't do that. It would drive me crazy. So early on I figured one, it's a cool look. Two, it's got the uh, wherewithal I can strap yeah. stuff to it. I can carry things with it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's just a good luck. That's all. It's a brand. It's a brand with the added benefit that if a loon bag does attack me, I'm a little bit protected. It's a crazy world out there. Oh. I mean, you never know who's going to go off or why or for what it's reason. Getting worse. Yeah. He's so, surprised. I don't think there's anything wrong with a private citizen protecting themselves. Nothing wrong with it. St. Catherine's is really bad. Yeah. Yeah. I guess a lot of stuff happens around here, but we don't hear about it. No, yeah, well, you get the odd thing. Like, remember that murder down by the credit union there? That loon bag went off and killed his neighbor and killed his roommate last summer or the summer before, remember? Yeah, he was uh, some, some, uh, he, he, he was a uh, uh, mental, mental, mental problems. Uh, that I think he was off his meds or something and then I got into an argument with his, I think it was his neighbor or his friend or, and then he ended up killing two people. Is that right? Yeah, murdered two people. One with a shotgun, I believe. Oh. Yeah, so. No, I don't think it was a shotgun. I think he just bludgeoned him to death. Yeah, he's, he's scary. I don't know. Well, it's what you make it, right? Like, number one, you don't hang around bad areas. Number two, if you did have to, go protected. There's nothing wrong with wearing body armor. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, did you know that it's not up to the government, the police, to protect you? They have no legal obligation to come into your aid. Yeah, the Supreme Court's already ruled on that. They have no, no, no obligation to actually to come. Yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they will. They will, of course. They'll wait till there's four or five of them, and then they'll come. Yeah. But meanwhile, your family's dead because the guy that's on the rampage is already in your house, and he's killing you and your family. And they're waiting outside until there's ten of them to come in, right? There's a lot of home invasions. Yep. So me, I'd rather cave the guy's head in, and I'll worry about court later. My first priority is protecting my family and me and my my wife and my property. So. I, I'd, go, I'd, I'd just cave the guy's head in, shoot him, stab him, run him through with my sword, whatever, but I'd look well, after my family, it. yep, and I'd worry about the court after. I'd worry about uh, the law about that after. I'm not gonna, right now they say, the police, you know what they suggest if your house is getting broken into? Run away, you run to your neighbors and call the police. Well, yeah, you're not allowed to protect well, your whole more family anymore. Not even self defense? Nope, you gotta leave. In fact, if you beat up a robber who home invades you, they'll you. charge you. And, well, yeah, well, I don't know about that here in Canada, in the States, yes. I don't think so in Canada. But I do know the police will charge you for, for killing that guy. He came in with a gun and he tried to, it'll all get, of course, sorted out and sorted out in court. Charges drop, maybe a maybe a manslaughter charge instead of murder, but or, you know, maybe even probation. But uh, but uh, yeah, they'll they'll. they'll oh, yeah. You see that in Quebec, if you uh, that Quebec language police, if you don't uh, speak uh, the French language, they'll arrest you. If you have have a business and your business doesn't have English and French, they'll arrest you. So no. they'll arrest you over words in Canada. That's how country. that's how no not freedom we are. I thought free country. Yeah, no. We're not a free country at all. Also, I hear, I hear somebody breaks in your house and you've got a, a, a guard dog and a guard dog white stick. I think it's you. Yep, that's how screwed up we are. But we live in a very socialist, communist, fascist society. A lot of people don't believe it because we have so much freedom. But we are still, right from birth to our death, we're numbered, we're categorized, we're 
we're classed right by our income by our right by where we live by where we right so there's a lot of uh a lot of that going Remember on Joe used to come here, right? yeah yeah he passed away right? yeah i know i heard about that he was doing so good in the not smoking eh like yeah. he cut down so much in the end but a little too late eh i've got to quit i i really do I think if I quit now, I'd probably have another good 30 years. Maybe 40, but I gotta quit. Well, do you? I gotta, yeah, otherwise it'll You're kill. 40? No, no, I'm in my 60s. Oh. I'm almost 60 now. You pay I'm, the I'm, I'm 56. You're young man. Yeah, I'm still youngish. I look young, that's the main thing. <laughs> that's the main thing. People always ask me, how do you look so young? And I, I tell them I don't drink. You don't drink? Nope. Alcohol ages you terribly. Look at all the alcoholics that you know. They all look all older than they are, right? No good for your liver. No, it's alcohol ages you. I don't even use alcohol face cream or, you know, stuff like that. That's, it all ages you whenever you have moisturize and all that crap. When I shave, I don't put no... No, me neither. That alcohol stuff, it, it, it ages you terribly. I mean, it's not the founding of youth, but I mean, I, I definitely don't look almost 60, right? Yeah. So I got a, uh, a cat wheel for my cats. The idea is, is that they run on it, like a oh. treadmill, okay. and they run yeah. on this big wheel and it turns a, they don't care. It, they, they, they lay in it, but they don't run on it. I think I might have to actually put a, pick, them up, pick them up and roll it and show them how, to, how it does. Yeah. Yeah, cat looks after himself. I don't know people are on here, eh? Mm hmm. Keep in mind, they bring it on themselves. Yeah. I mean, we were both young. We both ran away from home. We both, you know, but we learned pretty quick, right? That's the main thing. So for now, the, the fancy cat wheel is just holding up extra laundry. We just got one? No, I got two cats, but... Uh, the one's kind of fat and lazy. He doesn't want to really... And I don't understand how he's so fat and lazy because he doesn't... Uh, when I'm handing out treats, it's the other one that always gets the treats, always gets the extra treats, right? So I don't know how the, the little black one's getting so fat. Cats are independent, eh? Yeah. Oh, they're so smart. My one cat can swim. He likes water. He swims. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He knows how to play fetch like a dog. Like you throw a rolled up foil and he'll bring it back and, and you can play fetch for, you know, half hour with him. Yeah. I got to get my wife out on uh, Tuesday for a uh, new health card. Got to get a new health card for her. I, uh, I would have taken her on Friday, but uh, I frickin' I couldn't find her ID, her passport and her driver's license. I just, I couldn't find it. So, uh, what I, 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 was, I was smart. Oh, uh, Staples, Staples. Yeah, Staples does up. Yeah. But, uh, so, <laughs> instead of freaking out on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because um, I'm the kind I'll get really frustrated and I'll just tear the whole room apart, and then I have a huge mess. And I probably won't find it. Yeah, close up on Turtle Road, eh? So every day I've been doing searching for an hour, two hours in a certain section, and then the next one. And sure enough, finally I found it yesterday. Yeah, it's good for five years, eh? Yeah. It seems like we just renewed them. Yeah. Well, I gotta go for my passport pretty soon. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I got to replace mine. I, I, the last time I used it was about 10 years ago when I went to England. I hate to wait in that line all the time they got Yeah, that's so terrible. Sometimes you can get there at a right at a good yeah, hour and there's you get little to no one there, place. but I know. We did ours for 10 years. We did another year left. I'm terribly embarrassed. I completely forgot your name. Pat. Pat, yes, that's right. I'm sorry. I totally I blanked on you. I'm trying to think. Usually there's more people around and you just keep quiet until someone else says their name, right? Yeah. Are you, your name is Dwayne or yeah. Dwayne? Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. With a D. With a D, yeah. Okay. No. Has Roy been here? Uh, not Roy. Uh, yeah, Roy. Joe, Joe's friend? Remember well, Joe's friend? Talk, yeah, yeah. Him. He hasn't I been by lately. Water. I, I seen him uh, I guess he once. Away. Yeah, yeah. I seen him once. I haven't seen him all winter. Yeah. Uh, he's got a lot of property too, that guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, about two years ago, um, just on Joe's say so, he he borrowed me fifteen hundred bucks. Oh. Yeah, he says, hey, I understand you need money. He says, how much you need? I said, with. Well, Here's a good with a thousand be okay? He says, yeah, sure, no problem. Sure enough, the next day he showed up with a thousand bucks cash for me. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, Joe yeah, was, him, Joe was so nice to, he, Joe stuck up, Joe was the one that told him, hey, how you doing? It's okay, blah, blah, blah. That was awesome. Joe had such funny stories. Such funny stories. He was yeah, no, no, 55 years. Amazing guy, really fun. Yeah, I guess at the end he didn't care no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started smoking again, eh? Yeah, I know. I saw that. He had cancer. He had one lung removed. Yeah. Then he had a lot of heart issues. I guess at that point, though, you're just, it's about, you know, enjoying yourself, right? It's he no good, good stopping him. He was a good-hearted good man. He was, yes. Yeah. We worked together for a long time. Nice. You probably were in, the, in uh, a couple of his stories then, and I didn't know it <laughs> when you were young. At the end, he started repeating. I heard a lot of his stories, maybe all over a time. Yeah. Times. yeah, yeah. He's a good talker, though, good storyteller. I, I like. Yeah, he was not stupid. He was a smart man. He always smelled good, too. He always, he always smelled good. Usually rain or shine too, eh? He'd be, he'd show up. Where did they, uh, where's he even turned? Where did they put him? Is he at the uh, Woodlawn? Uh, I don't know, I want to see he was cremated. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. But I don't know where, where, where the yard went. Yeah, I lost my mom this year, oh. and uh, I lost my stepmom too this year too. So the same year. Yeah, oh. it's pretty bad. I don't know how uh, how it worked out that way, but yeah. But my, uh, I'm getting an inheritance around my stepmom this summer. That's that's where I'm hoping to start this business, and, uh, and buy a house Would for me. Her? Yeah, buy a house for me and Tammy. We might eventually move up to Toronto when her mom dies, um, she, and she gets she gets a house in Pickering. So we might might eventually leave, but I'd like to stay, oh, right? Oh, crazy city. That's the trouble, right? Oh. Pickering is way too... It's a fast pace. Yeah. I picture Toronto just like New York. And I've built roots here, right? I mean, I've, I've been here, what now, 20 years? You've been here 20 years? Yeah, a little over 20 years. Toronto just like New York. There's the tattoo guy. What's his name? Does yeah, he does tattoos. Oh, he's yeah. pretty good. He's really good. I forgot his name though. Nice guy. Is he's a nice guy. 
Uh, he was there, but he started his own. I think he does his own tattoos, his own, like out of his home or shop. Yeah, was he here today? Uh, he, he was here yesterday. Oh, yeah, no, I missed him. I set off a smoke grenade in that thing the other day. I had a smoke grenade, so I, I put it, I threw it in, in the... It, it, it was an accident, really, because I was just showing it to him, and then he jostled the car, and it fell in. But uh, I, I edited uh, the long video. It was a get-together video, so I had shortened it just down to a minute and a third of when it happened. He had a couple people in the back seat. Yeah. I'm surprised you get that many people. That's good transportation. I got a new car crossbow, so I'm gonna my, this coming weekend. Uh, my buddy's gonna let me go out to his property so I can sight in the scope. I got some new arrowheads and everything. I have a compound crossbow as well, but. Uh, this is my first just crossbow. It's a lot less maintenance, eh? There's no cams. It's still good, 600 yards, right? Football field. Can I get another coffee, Will, when you get a second? Uh, Thanks, buddy. Does that run on straight unleaded or it's a mix? Straight, straight gas. Nice. I had one and I, it needed a, that three-in-one mix, it was horrible. Yeah, I don't want to fix it like that. With some foreign motor, that's, I think that's why it was like, terrible. I just bought this leaf blower, and the extra battery for it cost 300 bucks. Oh. Crazy, eh? I wrote just for a different, a new battery. They don't have much more with battery type, really. The one I got's pretty good. I got the one of the Greenworks, you know, the Greenworks one or, or Yardworks. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. It's actually these. Uh, they sell um, lawnmower that takes the same batteries. So instead of just one battery and a leaf blower, the lawnmower will take two of these big square ones. So should be pretty good. I'm, I know they've got snowblower too. I might, I might get one. Thank you so much. You're the best. I might. I see they got them two snowblower batteries. Yeah, I saw oh, that. Powerful here. Yeah. But mine's a. I just bought it last year. Three stage, thir uh, thirteen horse. I only used it a couple of times because I got somebody who does my driveway. Yeah. Doctor. Nice. But he won't do the sidewalk, so I got to do my own sidewalk. I'm getting a new bulletproof vest next month. It's uh, not like this style. It's uh, white, so it's one. Of, I've got a tan one. Uh, that one's just uh, rifle armor, and this one, uh, this one's rifle and stab. And I got a soft one, soft vest. But this next one's soft plates inside, so it's going to be nice and cool, a lot more comfy. Will they work? Uh, the vest itself about 150. And the plates, uh, 150 about each. So 300 for the There's plates. Steel plates in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll protect against all handguns and most rifles. Most rifles. I wouldn't trust it against like an AK or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My other one, I would. I have another different one to, that I, I would trust with rifles. I 
to the radio, so mm -hmm. people got shot, they're trying to, trying to make them. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I might stop in at my buddy's, see what he's doing, burn a joint with him. Oh, my finger's itchy. Isn't that me now getting money soon? Finger itchy? Or is that your hand? That's a sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's coming up. Okay, Have a great day. Okay. See you later, honey. Have a nice day, Bye, Charlie. All right, now there's a good little uh, coffee stop. I think what we'll do is we're gonna go grab little Dougie and either bring him with us or just burn one there. But uh, we need smokes. And little Dougie's awesome for cigarettes. What the hell are these things? Look at these weird plates on the ground. I wonder what these are for. Look at these. Look what these are. There's one by a post here. Single post, there's one. Yeah, it's got to be all about, like I know temperature wise, it says it's like minus four, but it definitely feels like it's uh, more like about uh, minus eight, maybe minus 10. Got the hiccups. Look at this wall, eh? The whole wall's bulging out. Ooh, I smell a skunk. I bet you there's a little skunk around here. Crap, I should have grabbed him a coffee. Doggy! Simon! Hey, hey! Yeah. It's 
blow a little air into the end. Moisten it up just a tad. That's enough blowing. I need smoke. Yeah. Just enough to get through to tonight. I got Michelle coming tonight. Awesome, you're the best. No, no, that's good. Give me one more drag of that and you can have that. I gotta go, I'm getting cold. You can pinch it and smoke it later. Okay, I can get you a couple more. I would love that, yeah. Okay. Here, I'll just hold it. <laughs> oh, you got it. She's doing good. I just uh, ran out for a quick coffee, but I figured I'd swing by. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Thank you so much, buddy. Come by later tonight. I'll burn another one with you. <laughs> Crap. I think I'm gonna end up having to do my own. Uh... No, you know what? I'm gonna take it in and uh, get a new zipper put on, get a new, uh, get the pocket all sewn up good. Probably could have worn a uh, 
probably could have worn a hoodie today. It's definitely warm enough or cold enough that I could have worn uh, could have worn a hoodie for sure. Yeah, it's perfect. Whenever uh, whenever this money comes in, I'll uh, I'll be able to see the city. Oh, it's going to be sweet. I already got Steve Corbos fired. So I'm hoping if uh, this all works right, we'll get a couple more people fired. Uh. A little bit of romantic graffiti there. I love Rachel Fraser. Or I heart. God bless. Some young love. I appreciate you guys hanging out uh, with me today. Uh, last couple of days, haven't really been able to, uh, haven't really been able to get out. So it's uh, definitely, a bonus that we're able to uh, hang out with me today. I really appreciate it. Hey, there went John Grabinski. He was getting a ride from someone. A lot of people uh, misunderstand John. You've probably seen him in a couple of my videos. You locals all know him. Um, and those who know him, no, he's actually uh he's actually an okay guy. It's just the drugs and uh, the mental issues that he has that makes him uh, what you'd call socially inept. But uh, if you get to know him or talk to him in his lucid moments, he's actually a really nice guy. I've never, he's never given me any problems. And I've seen him when he's having his issues. And uh, you just treat him normal. Try to treat him normal. He's been nothing but uh, polite and respectful to me ever since I've known him here 20 or so years so uh, yeah he's an all right guy but people sometimes get you get the wrong impression of him when you see him shirtless and screaming in the middle of an intersection type thing but uh, the small group of people that actually know him and uh, know what he's about they know that he's a decent uh, just screwed up in the head. That's all. If you see this, John, I say hi. Love you, buddy. Stay safe. Yeah, I didn't get a chance really to get out yesterday. Um, I'll be honest, the last couple days I've been in a little bit of a shock. Just simply because I haven't had my my ride, so I haven't really been able to get out uh, much at all. Um, I don't mind having to walk because I can walk anyway. It's the uh, it's it's the uh, it's more about um, 
the lack uh, the lack of mobility really Hey, look at that. Did you know a stone tablet tells of North America explanation more than a century before believed? Did explorers leave clues that could rewrite history and etch the proof in stone? The mystery of the Kensington rhinestone in Minnesota. I like that it says, it gives you a little uh, vignettes. All right, guys. That's uh, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I love the views. Love the new uh, subscribers. Again, thank you so much to everybody. You guys are amazing. Um, you're the reason I do it, and the reason why I uh, why I feel great about how I am able to portray myself and portray how uh, um, Welland is and how Welland's people are as well. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. I locked it. I mean, that's good. I locked it. Just don't want any loon bags coming in. Hi, hey, baby. I just sent you 1200 bucks through PayPal codes. I don't know if I believe that. What'd you say? Something just back and rolled. A what? Something just back and rolled. Something fell off here? No, it's back and rolled. It rolled off the back? Okay, don't worry about it. It's probably my uh, contact lenses. Let me get uh, off and everything, and uh, I think you need to get up. We'll get you changed and uh, smoke a joint and get you up okay i just gotta get my gear off i uh, picked up some smokes from uh dougie and uh i still have a joint you want to smoke a joint before we get you changing it up you want a cigarette yeah there's a smoke ashtrays right there ah uh, uh, king cobra cobra you look like johnny depp almost That's no you don't up. you don't look anywhere like johnny depp yeah, Poor so bastard. I actually like him. Like, uh, I like him. I think he just is trying to get through life. He's just not very good at it. He's very socially awkward. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Now trolls are paying me to troll. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Hey, troll, thanks for your money. Appreciate the $2 donation, troll. Like, that's the funny thing of it. Are you gonna call me an e-bagger when even trolls are paying me two dollars just to talk shit? Like it's fucking ridiculous. I hate to say it, but I tell you, Josh, for that slap in the fucking face. I really do. Ew. I didn't slap you in the face. No, it's just it's. I'm a sympathetic person. I really am. Oh, I know I'm starting to go bald. I don't give a shit. Quite frankly, I don't give a shit. It's just hair. Trolls want to make fun of me for being bald. I don't care. I really just screw him, King Cobra. Don't yeah, listen so to your trolls. You leave them alone. A lot of hair in my Ignore them. Baldness. They're uh, loser scumbags hair. in their parents' and basement. Quite honest, there's a lot of bad just ignore them. Who are bald. Dwayne a lot. Johnson, Ron, Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? So people want to talk shit. Let them talk shit. But anyways, back to the story. I was riding my bike to the C85 liquor store, and I didn't have enough money for a beer, so I'm like, eh, it's whatever. I was sitting on my bike, dipping a fat 
chaw, a very fat chaw of Red Man Chew, and I didn't have a can or a bottle with me. I was spitting on the ground. And as I'm running away from the liquor store, I heard a woman shout, You're fucking disgusting. At first, I had no idea who she was talking to. But then as I'm riding my bike down the sidewalk, she has the nerve to pull up next to me in her car on the street and starts cussing me out in front of her kid. So I called her a cunt, flipped her off, and drove away. And she drove away too. Uh, uh, Asperger's, excuse me. Man. No, I did not. Me and my dad decided to um, not do the debit card. I think it just makes it easier for me personally. That's just the thing of it. If I have a debit card in my pocket, sometimes it's just easy to go up to the ATM machine, push it in, punch the code, you know, take money out, etc. I actually agree with my dad on this. Um, I'm horrible with money sometimes. Susan, CEO of YouTube, writes, Hello at King Cobra JFS. You will be getting your 15K subscriber button soon. Keep an eye on the mail. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. Toast to the CEO of YouTube. Thank you for, thank you for providing this website, <laughs> especially in this crazy BS, you know? I'm serious. You, you rub a, women, a woman's clit, it gets hard. I've been using that check to, uh, buy food, groceries, tobacco, etc. Basically, I've been using that stimulus check to stimulate Casper's local economy. That's what I've been doing, which is what you should do. If you get your stimulus check, or a stimulus check, use it to stimulate your local economy. Oh yeah, Richie Ralt has some nice looking hair, I will say that. But I'm gonna upload that. Uh... Is Upload day. Oh shit, I'm still Fox recording. Oops. Oh well. Say hi, baby. Hi. This is my lovely wife, Tammy, right hi, now. Hi. She's uh, bedridden with MS, but uh, we're going to get her, hopefully, get some meds for her. Love you, baby. Love you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Hanging out with you guys and uh, being able to include you guys in my lives really means a lot to me. So thank you so much. See you guys on the next one.